Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into your pre-shuffle energies here. You have the Hanged Man with the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and your overall energy is the Four of Swords. Overall energy. Okay. So we. D ooh, ooh. Okay. We have a situation here for you, Cancer, where um, mm, I would first I want to say that you're you might be feeling stuck or stagnant or on pause or uh, at you, you, you're facing a pretty significant roadblock in some way. Um, I did hear just now that that some of you might be fighting an uphill battle or maybe feeling like you're fighting an uphill battle. I feel I, honestly, I feel like it's your perception. OK, that is saying oh, I'm, I'm fighting an uphill battle. I'm fighting, a lo fighting, a lo losing battle. I don't know how this is ever going to come to come to fruition, whatnot, whatever. It makes sense that you might be feeling that way in terms of what these energies are looking like, um, because there's definitely a need to make some sort of decision, either a need or a desire. And um, that need to make a decision, it could be born of the desire to, to do something new, to change something, to maybe start a new business venture, maybe to go into business for yourself, 
um, that could be something that you're contemplating, but saying to yourself, I don't know how I could ever do that. There could, there's a good amount of confusion around you or surrounding this situation right now, Cancer. And I'm seeing that in the Seven of Cups, okay? Um, you have two cards of needing to, of, of energy symbolizing changing of perspective. That being the, high, the Hanged Man and also the Four of Swords, because I do see the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. OK, um, and the advice right now, the overall energy of what you're needing to do is just chill. OK, just relax. We know, says the universe, we know how much of an active player you are. You are a cardinal energy. We know you want to be taking action in some sort of direction or we know, you know, you need to take some sort of action in some in in a certain direction. But right now is the time to really focus on striking a balance, keeping things balanced, okay? Keeping things in check. And I feel like from there, once you gain some sort of balance here with the two of pentacles, then you'll be able to work out, work through some of this confusion with the seven of cups. You, you may be rushing things. OK, you may be in an energy of I need to make a decision. So you're frantically trying to do things, but that's only making that's only causing more confusion, cancer. What you need to be doing is just chilling out a little bit, relaxing, allowing the dust to settle, allowing the chips or the pieces to fall where they will. OK, just go with the flow right now and allow things to happen, allow things to develop, and then you'll be able to to make a decision. You'll be able to work towards understanding things better. You'll be able to work towards coming out of this sense of confusion, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. That's your pre-shuffle for the month of October. Let's see what else, it's 11.11 right now as I'm recording this. Let's see what else we've got for you here for the month of October for you, Cancer. Yes, October. We are almost at the end of the year here. There could be an energy of wanting to bring greater balance into a business that you already have. You may want to expand that business. That's what the Two of Wands could be talking about, okay? And you potentially could have come into uh, gone through a period where you you did receive a change in perspective you did reach a, a a deeper or higher level of enlightenment which is now influencing you to move forward you really could be emerging from some sort of hermit mode or um, um, period of indecision or a period of uh, changing your perspective on what it is you want to do in life And so now all of this is influencing you to start a new project, go deeper into a project, um, go in a new creative direction, all that good stuff. And this is that's a really great energy, Cancer. Okay, you just need to, you just need to. Um, what I'm hearing is for some of you, you need to tr stop trying so hard and just go with the flow. Allow things to develop, allow things to come through fruition as they will, and from there, then you can take steps take further steps, right? It's also, it's kind of an energy of needing to see how things are going to manifest or play out before you can even start thinking about the next steps to take. I feel like some of you might be trying to, might be getting a little ahead of yourselves. For sure, that's what that's saying. If you're needing to allow something to, 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 to develop to some extent first before you can make a decision, then that's a message to stop trying to get ahead of the game. Stop trying to stop, stop getting ahead of yourself and allow things to flow, allow things to fall where they will. All right, Cancer, let's get going. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Five shuffles. Here we go. For my Cancerians for the month of October 2019. 
This is two. For my Cancerians. Three. Cancer, I'm getting a pain in my back. You guys are trying too hard, man. You're so action oriented right now that it's literally a detriment to you. And as soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, as soon as I acknowledged that, the pain subsided. And it was in the in my right side, which in your body um, translates to the masculine side. The masculine being the action oriented, the doer. And it's this pain that I have. It's this. It's this like knot in my right underneath my shoulder blade like right where my heart chakra is but in my back and it's funny because i've been working really hard on stretching that out and releasing that pain and that blockage and as soon as i'm channeling your energy here and picking up that some of you are getting way ahead of yourselves right now that tension was building and as soon as i i said something about it it went right away all right so you you're very action oriented right now and that's excellent but i keep hearing stop trying so hard Ooh, all right number four and number five for my cancerians oh okay well we got shut we got some flyers oh boy we have the nine of, oh goodness we have the nine of cups with the three of swords we have the two of swords we have strength and what is this poking out the five of cups All right, well, for some of you, this has to do with a relationship. And something, a relationship that turned out to be really heartbreaking. What I'm picking up on here is that this is part of your path, Cancer. You can't rush yourself out of this. All right, there's some healing that needs to be done. Your satisfaction is going to come from healing from this from facing this from what i'm getting from the nine of cups and the three of swords it's like the three of swords is like fertilizer whatever pain whatever circumstance that was heartbreaking for you whether this is a relationship or not it could be a business relationship it could be family it could be romantic it could be friends it could it could be anything okay but whatever was heartbreaking for you cancer you need to see it as fertilizer you need to see it as mulch you can't just skip over this you have to face your feelings cancer five of cups you have to the strength card. You gotta tame that beast within. You gotta pull yourself together. Two of swords, someone is refusing to face something. That doesn't surprise me. I've had many Cancerian friends in my life that were super stubborn like that, but you know what, it's okay. <laughs> we still love you. All right, Cancer, I'm gonna give this, really, we're gonna start all over? All right, Cancer, we're restarting your shuffle here. So one. <laughs> That message really needs to come through. And I don't normally do this, but it's necessary. Two. A three. <laughs> Four. For my Cancerian, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of October, 2019. And five. All right, kids. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Cancer. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new opportunity, a new start. This could be business-wise, financially. Um, I do, I am getting a strong energy for some of you out there that you're either working on starting a new business or redefining a business that you already have, um, expanding it somehow, strengthen it, strengthening it somehow. This is a new beginning, a new start somehow. Now, for those of you that are dealing with some sort of heartbreak, some sort of pain, this Ace of Pentacles absolutely is your new start. But you have to get through the pain and the madness first before you can even step out on your own and have a solid, good new start, okay? Underneath the Ace of Pentacles, you have, there's that Two of Wands again, okay? Underneath the Two of Wands, ooh, the Six of Wands. Hallelujah, 11-11 on the counter now. That's 11-11 twice, guys. Underneath the Six of Wands, oh, <laughs> shit. Cancer, come on, the Nine of Swords, really? <laughs> 
all right. Well, I mean, it's understandable. It's understandable. It's totally understandable. Don't, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm just being silly here. It's absolutely understandable why you may have this anxiety, this fear. For some of you, though, it's this fear and anxiety that is influencing you to have a new beginning, to have a new start, to go in a new direction. And that's excellent. But then for others of you, you're in the process of doing this. I do want to say that it is it is within your overall energies for you to reach success, to for you to be successful in some way with this new start, this new beginning, this new offering, whatever this is for you. And I do feel like either you've made the right decision already to move, to go, to, to, take, to take this step, or you are, you're making the right decision. You're about to make the right decision. You're working on making this a decision that would lead you towards some sort of success. But with this Nine of Swords here, okay, I get it because you're not quite there yet. You haven't quite started yet. Obviously, like in the pre-shuffle, there are still some energies where you need to just work on allowing things to be defined a little more before you can take the step, before you can make the move. And that's so, so okay, that's where the source of the, the, the anxiety is coming from. But Cancer, this is not going to help you, all right? So don't focus on this. I guess the right thing to say is don't don't focus on this any more than you have to. Now, logically speaking, practically speaking, it's this nine of swords energy that could help you define um, some things that you need to take care of. Okay, so that's why I'm saying don't focus on it any more than you have to. Uh, but what I really want to say is focus on the, the don't focus on it at all or focus on it as little as possible. Fear is not going to help you. I understand. I, don't get me wrong. I understand why it's there. All right. But it's not going to help you. So try and nip it in the bud if you can. Okay. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half and second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the first half of your reading. You have, there you go, the fool. I love it. You're definitely you're you're stepping out. You're you're on, you're working on a new. You're embarking on a new endeavor. That's what I'm hearing. And it very well could be the success of the past that has you in this process of like like say if you have a business that you've been working on, sole proprietorship, something like that, that you've been working on for some time, and you've seen you've seen how things have grown, and you're ready to start you know taking it to the next level. That's what I see happening here, all right? And that's where you are with this fool energy. You're taking a leap of faith. You're starting a new, uh, uh, starting a new endeavor, especially with what you've learned from the past, influencing you, helping you, yes? Guiding you, uh, even. The fool is coupled with, yes, hunty, the magician. All right, Cancer. You're going straight from the fool to the magician. That's progress. That is absolutely progress. And it really looks like this fool energy could be something from the past. Again, if you're like, I'm just going to keep using this, this example of like having your own business or something just because it's, it's easier, but you can apply it to whatever you're going through or whatever you're, you're faced with right now. Yes. We'll say if you started a business a while ago, some time ago, it doesn't matter how long, sometime in the past, um, uh, and you've seen it progress and things are going well, well now here you are taking further control or taking conscious action in terms of expanding. Beautiful, Cancer. I love it. Second set of surrounding energies, Cancer, for the first half of your reading, you have, oh, death. Ooh, Scorpio energy, okay, but transformation. Uh, wow. This has heavy business connotations. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting very strong messages surrounding business, or at least the symbology, the imagery I'm receiving in terms of these energies has, is in the form of business ventures, business prospects, okay? But even though I'm gonna continue speaking of it that way, it doesn't have to just be that. I just wanna make sure you guys are clear on that. But this death card, what I'm seeing is the transformation from like, the first phase or the beginning stage to the second. 
And I do want to say that this is absolutely an energy of you being on the right path because it's major arcana. I mean, you have three major arcana already. The, the fool, the magician, and death. So this is something that is very much in alignment with your soul. Well, in alignment with your path, with what you're here to accomplish, what you're here to achieve, what it is you want to uh, manifest on a soul level. It's very much in alignment with your soul. And I'm saying that because major arcana represents the major overarching cycles that we go through on a spiritual level. Whereas the minor arcana, like the three cards here in your, in your uh, overall energy, well, four, because you have the Nine of Swords also underneath the deck. But the minor arcana are these, uh, the, the, the mundane 3D circumstances, cycles that we go through, right? This is very good, Cancer. It's very, very good. Death is coupled with the Seven of Wands. So there may be some naysayers around. I am picking that up uh, for some of you. But also... Um, what I'm getting with the Seven of Wands, especially with death, but what I'm getting with the Seven of Wands is a uh, greater definement. Like, okay, let we'll take it this way. In terms of a business entity, right? You started out, you, you know, you were independent, you were, you were doing, going, going along, and over time you watched the business grow, and now you're getting to a point where it's like, okay, well, I want to... I want to define this more. I want to put. I, I want to. I want to make this official. We'll say. I want to start an LLC. I want to whatever. I want to. I, I want to. You know. Greater definement. I hope that is translating. But it's a. Tra and that's what I'm seeing with the seven of wands. I'm seeing someone placing these wands in the ground. Yes, as. You could say totally as a, as a greater defense system, but also it's um, uh, uh, further establishing your place, your presence in the world, in the environment, however you want to describe that, okay? That's great. That's really great, Cancer. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you have, whoa, the devil, the devil. Okay, so this is the fear, the anxiety, the worry. The Nine of Swords energy that we have here, yes? This is the devil telling you, oh, no, you can't do this. Oh, no, you can't. Also, if we're talking about business, the devil represents the hoops and hurdles uh, that you basically have to jump through to be an official business. I get it. <laughs> That's funny. So in that case, it wouldn't be such a bad thing, obviously, because if you're wanting greater define, if you're wanting a uh, uh, greater definement, sure. If that's even a word, is that a word? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to establish establish yourself a little bit more, then you're going to have to follow certain rules of the established way of being. The devil. All right. But ultimately, it's worth it. The devil is coupled with, okay, the six of swords. Excellent. Moving forward, moving on, moving on from some sort of codependency, some sort of attachment. I, this literally could be you moving on from the general workforce, leaving the past behind you and really going into business yourself, leaving the attachment to corporations, big business, all that kind of security and all that, leaving that all behind. Again, either this is about business for you or this is just symbolism, all right? So if, it fi if, if it's resonating with you, then just place it how it fits in your life. It doesn't have to be about a business, but that's the biggest thing that I'm getting here. So I'm just, again, that's the terminology I'm gonna use. But this is a good thing. Moving from rough waters to calmer waters, um, and if you are trying to redefine a business or, or do it um, more by the books, we'll say, you would be leaving rough waters behind, rough waters being um, less security, right? Because I am seeing greater security here with death and the seven of wands. But your challenge would be to do this by the books, which might, which might be a topic of contention for some of you. Yes, I totally get that. But you know what? It's the world we live in. 
You, I mean, there, uh, it, you know, there are some rules that you're gonna have to follow, at least just in the beginning, right? Okay. Your closing message or potential outcome, Cancer, in the first half of your reading, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Very good. Very, very good. Look at all this major arcana, Cancer. So far, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcana. You have major arcana in every step of the first half of your reading here. So this is a big thing. This is a good thing. This is a big change. If you were questioning as to whether or not this was in alignment for you, soul-wise, here's your answer. All of this major arcana. And they're all good cards. At least they're good. They're cards that are placed well. Like the devil isn't isn't really a good card, but it's placed well because it's in your challenge, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is talking about luck, but I wanna say good luck. Um, you can increase your chances of receiving better luck by really staying with it, going with the flow, like we were talking about in the beginning. Um, I do feel like you're already well prepared and well equipped to really make this a beneficial endeavor for you. But ultimately, things are shifting, things are changing around you. So going back to our pre-shuffle conversation, you definitely need to stay in the receptive mode here and make sure that you maintain your alignment, positive alignment, all right? Do not allow this energy to get a hold of you, the Nine of Swords, don't do it. Don't do it because that's only going to disrupt the flow that is represented here by this Wheel of Fortune, okay? Wheel of Fortune is coupled with, excellent, the Three of Cups, celebration. Um, there could be, uh, this feels like community. There could be a shift in order for you to be more of a community figure um, or to align you with soul family people that you resonate with, your tribe. Now, uh, going back, let's go back a little bit and let's talk about this in terms of like, if this is a relationship, okay? It feels like somebody here is, release, is releasing themselves from some sort of codependent relationship, putting greater boundaries. Now, if this was a really rough relationship for you, then it was necessary because it helped you to, tra to transform. It helped you to take your power back and to start manifesting from a place of what you desire rather than compromising. It has influenced you to set up greater boundaries for yourself seven of wands with death you're moving away from this codependency and it looks like you're moving straight into the arms of people who love you who value you um your soul family your tribe people that you've been maybe desiring to connect with for a very very long time it doesn't mean that you know these people for some of you yes you could be reconnecting with people that you fell out uh, fell out with because of this relationship and obviously that is has that that has narcissism written all over it but then others of you could be coming into contact with people that you have never met in this lifetime but you share that bond with Okay, there's also an energy of a celebration in union, that union being an internal union, body, mind, and spirit. And the universe kind of like congratulating you or you kind of like congratulating yourself, having a party with yourself because you've reached this sense of inner peace, stability, union. This is a really beautiful reading so far, Cancer. I really like these energies for you, okay? So now let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. Can't hold on. Let me adjust the camera. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We have, oh boy, the King of Cups. Could this be you? I think it might be. Now, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, okay? <clears throat> um, the King of Cups, in my opinion, as a reader, represents emotional maturity, uh, Emotional awareness, groundedness, taking, being active, being willing and able to take action from a place of hearts, your heart's desire.
I'm trying to see, uh, for the most part, for the most, uh, for the most part, ha 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 ha, that was funny. Sorry guys, <laughs> grow up, Eric. For the most part, I feel like this King of Cups energy is you, especially with all this other stuff that we're talking about here. It really feels like you are actually in an energy of being remote, emotionally responsible, okay? But let's see, King of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Wands. All right, perseverance is key, sure. Okay, another small little tidbit that I'm getting here is that maybe some of you are trying to manifest a King of Cups and you've just been, you're needing to persevere. That could be this Ace of Pentacles that you are experiencing, that you're wanting. Also, some of you could be coming out of a relationship with an emotionally manipulative and or narcissistic individual, okay? But I really feel like for the most part, Cancer, this King of Cups energy is you. Also, though, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So it actually, it could be an individual that you are connecting with who might be having trouble coming forward. They've really been through a lot. So they're feeling apprehensive. They're feeling on the defensive. Okay. It could be a Scorpio. It could be another Cancer or a Piscean, but it could be anybody. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. You have, ooh, the lovers. Ah, Gemini energy. Ooh, chow. Are we manifesting a relationship, Cancer? Mm -mm, I like it. The lovers is coupled with, ooh, the four of pentacles. All right. I am getting a sense of, of inner union, okay? Of divine union, of inner union, and standing your ground in terms of that. If we're talking about like some sort of twin flame situation, I'm seeing that whom, whomever was the aggressor here, or we'll say the chaser, who is most likely the feminine, but whoever, whomever is the chaser here or the act, the one who has taken action in the past, it's like they're standing their ground. Now, that could mean either you are, you are standing your ground, you're standing in, in what you know, in your knowledge, and what your intuition has been telling you all along, and you may be releasing things, or it could be the other way around. You could be standing your ground but holding on for dear life and you might actually need to start releasing letting go okay your challenge in the second half of your reading here cancer you have oh all right well there's the nine of cups again reaching satisfaction Gluttony. Ooh. Some of you are, in fact, needing to let go in some way. You're needing to let go in some way. I feel like there's an energy here of, of um, <clears throat> sorry, one of my roommates just got home, so it's probably going to be a little loud for a little bit, but uh, there's an energy of holding on to something just for egoic satisfaction reasons. It's crazy because I feel like we've completely shifted gears here. Like we're told, we're talking about a totally different <laughs> situation here for somebody. All right, the Nine of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Wands. I just, I feel like there is a sense of egotism here. 
Like I want when I, I want what I want when I want it, and I don't want to hear anything else about it. And the only reason that would be a detriment or a problem is because you would be limiting the ways that the universe can bring you what it is you're desiring, what it is you're working on manifesting, that kind of energy. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, so closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. You have, ah, the Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, balance. There needs to be a balance here, Cancer. You can't always get what you want, right? I, I, and, I feel like there's a deep sense of selfishness here in some in some sort of situation. Either this is you, Cancer, or this is somebody else. And the closing message here is that you need to, there needs to be a balance. There needs to be reciprocity. You can't have things your way just because you want it that way. And fuck anyone else that doesn't want that doesn't agree or doesn't want to give that to you. No, that's that's not balanced, Cancer. And it's not healthy. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a mental entrapment. Now, how does this apply now? How does this apply to the Six? Give me a second. I'm trying to work on working on. Um, I feel like some of you have backed yourselves into a quarter. This is really interesting. This is really interesting because it's really like the, 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 the game has completely changed or the reading has completely changed. Maybe it hasn't. I'm not sure. But this just feels like so different from the beginning of what we were channeling. And yet it doesn't, to be honest. But okay, whatever. I'm just going to continue channeling. I feel like some of you may have backed yourselves into a corner with your demands, with um, some sort of egotism. Um, you may also feel like there's no way of getting any sort of re re reciprocity. But that's not the case. You have to release yourself from this mental prison in terms of this. In order to really see the possibilities. I'm just getting, it's like I, I'm getting this sense of... Um, that this Eight of Swords energy is, is, is feeling like someone saying they're never going to give back to me or I'm never going to get back what I put out in kind. Like that's, but that's an illusion. That could be the devil here. <laughs> okay. All right, so now let's close out the reading here with your Oracle Guidance from Zephyrus. Closing message from a Cancerians for the month of October. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. There it is. Okay. Card number 17. This is Isa. Stillness. Pause. Delicacy. All right, it's card number 17. Winter has descended upon the fairy forest. You have ceased struggling and fighting to change what outside, what is outside of yourself. Because you have relinquished the battle, you have won the war within yourself. You are now suspending activity and being in the moment. Through this stillness, the inner consciousness, you are beginning to understand so much of where you have been and where you will go. And because you are fully in the present and allowing, 
you can also come to a deeper, more peaceful understanding of what it is you want, value, and desire. This is a moment of complete stillness and simply being, a long moment where you are completely present. You are still as a chrysalis, hanging seemingly static from a branch, fragile and mysterious. Like the chrysalis, you will, quote, do nothing, nothing at all, except become yourself. Your transformation is being worked invisibly on the inside, and when the time is right, you will share it with the world. In a situation where you seem to have no control, no, no power, you are learning the most valuable form of power there is, self-mastery. You pause with dignity and strength, and simply by doing this, you create the right conditions for the right change. This time will ultimately bring, bring great peace, wisdom, and choices that enrich your life, others' lives, and healing of the world. Beautiful, Cancer. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.